Hi, I'm Randy. I'm Vincent. And I'm Audrey. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. The Hamptons Bee, July 1972. The elderly bedridden aunt of former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, Mrs. Edith Bouvier Beale, my very own mother, can you imagine? And her adult daughter, Miss Edie Beale, a former debutante once known as Body Beautiful Beale. They called me Body Beautiful Beale, it's true. That was my, what do you call it, my uh, sober K. <laughs> Grey Gardens is a story about um, a mother and a daughter, actually. The uh, famous Bouvier Beals, uh, aunt and cousin to Jackie Bouvier Kennedy. Um, Jackie, by the way, plays a, I think, a 10 year old or 12 year old <laughs> girl in this uh, musical. The musical starts in the 1940s where um, they're a wealthy family. It's a gorgeous house in East Hampton. And Grey Gardens is a beautiful mansion, and people come from miles around to uh, go to parties there. Parties and uh, grandeur. And in the next act, we're now 30 years later, plus or minus, and the house is really a shambles. Uh, the women have not a red cent. Little Edie and Edie are uh, living in squalor with like 50 cats and uh, raccoons and um, it's, it's really sad. I thought that the mother might have been a little, the word we use in, in nursing is demented, I thought she might have been a little demented. The daughter is a little manic depressive. It's a sick relationship. Um, you hope you're never going to be in one like that, <laughs> but it certainly makes for interesting entertainment. The performances are fantastic. Christine Ebersol is, I think, she's created a role uh, that's just going to go down to Broadway history. She is a tour de force, I and mean, she is such a powerful singer, and just just her looking at the audience with, with those faces is enough to send Twitters through everybody in the theater. And Mary Louise Wilson also is wonderful. She's really good. She never gets out of the bed, but she really does a wonderful job. I actually uh, enjoyed the second act more than the first because I thought it was funnier. Um, I thought it was more interesting. The characters um, were better developed. I think I was a little disappointed with the first act, particularly. I, I kind of thought the first act was a little stiff. The young woman who plays little Edie in the first act is really kind of a prom queen girl next door without the least bit of neuroses whatsoever. And then we get to the second act 30 years later, and she's a complete basket case. And that's, that's really hard to to cope with. Um, I didn't buy that at all. I haven't seen the film in years. No, I have not seen the film. The tough part about the second act of this show, which to me is a lot of rehashing of, of the exact dialogue of the documentary, is that they've taken what was real and made it pretend. And that saps some of the energy out of it. By the second act, I did get into it. The first act didn't really catch me. The second act, I got into it. I think this has a strong storyline. It certainly holds your interest. I, just an amazing idea to turn this documentary into a musical. I think they did a fantastic job. I would recommend this show to fans of traditional musical theater because I do think it harkens back to that type of show um, and not like a lot of the shows that I've seen on Broadway lately. I wanted to see this show. I, I knew that I wanted to see it, walking into it, and I would tell people to go see it. <laughs>